I've got a freeze dried candy hack that I am testing out in my freeze dryer for today's freeze drying video. As most of you know, I use my freeze dryer for everything. I like to freeze dry meals. I like to preserve fruits and vegetables with my freeze dryer. I also love freeze dried candy. I make it and I also sell it here locally in my community. And I love trying new things when it comes to freeze dried candy, new candies, new ways to do it. The first time that I freeze dried Starburst, I just did them whole on my trays, stuck them in the freeze dryer on candy mode and freeze dried them. They did freeze dry. They hardened and became very like crunchy and airy and still yummy. But when I had a video of my Starburst on YouTube, somebody put in the comments to try warming the Starburst up in the oven before freeze drying them and getting them nice and soft. And that should help them like puff up and expand a little bit. When she told me that, I wanted to try it so bad. So I bought some Starburst and we are gonna put this hack to the test today. Before we get started, I want to know, I don't remember if I asked this in my previous video, have your kids started school? Mine started this week and they're loving it. It's been great. They've only been going for two days so far. My youngest kindergartner, he starts a week in one week. They stagger the start of kindergarten after all the other kids go to school here in Anchorage. So he's got another week before he starts. He can't wait, but we got to meet our teachers and do all that fun back to school stuff. And all three of my kids are very excited. They all have wonderful, amazing teachers and we're so excited. The kids love it and mom and dad get a nice little break during the day. I have more time now to make videos and make content for my DIY freeze dry channel, which I am so stoked about. So get ready for some more freeze drying videos from me. I'm gonna show you all the steps to doing this new hack with the Starburst and we will test it out and see if they turn out how we hope. We will of course do a taste test at the end and make sure you stick around also because I am going to show some footage of our latest Alaskan adventure. That was so much fun. You don't want to miss that either. So let's take you back in time to about four hours ago when I got all this started. First item of business is going to be unwrapping all of the Starburst. That is the most time consuming part of this whole candy making process is getting everything unwrapped. This container I got at Costco. They are like $8.99 or something for this big thing of Starburst. I find that's the best deal for bulk Starburst. And that's where I get my Skittles too. So. Just a little tidbit, they have good deals on certain candies that work great for freeze drying. Starburst, Skittles, Hi Chews, all I get at Costco. I'm gonna get these unwrapped, stick them on my trays, and then we will move on to the next step. I am in the kitchen here for step two of the freeze dried Starburst process with our little experiment of warming them first in the oven. I've got my unwrapped Starburst here on my tray. I am going to organize them onto my four trays. I am using my silicone liners. These are just made of food grade silicone so they can be put in the oven. So I'm just gonna do them on my liners and then get them in the oven. I preheated to 250 degrees. I'm just kind of uh, guessing here. The friend who gave me this tip, I didn't get specifics from her, so we're just kind of experimenting here. But we're gonna try 250 degrees for about 10 or 15 minutes so that they just get nice and soft. Here are my four trays of Starburst. I did 10 rows of four across, so each tray has 40 Starbursts on them. And that ended up being about half of the jar of Starburst from Costco. So you could get definitely two freeze drying runs out of one jar of Starburst of the Costco ones. And so let's get these into the oven now. Would you like a backyard update? If you remember in one of my previous videos, I talked about us getting our backyard redone. We had it leveled. 
Over here is where our trampoline is gonna go. And then this is all the flat area that's gonna be grass. We have a retaining wall that we're gonna do a garden on. And over here will be like a parking area for stuff. They're almost done. In the next day or two, they're gonna come um, hydro seed the yard so we can get grass going before winter comes. Hopefully it grows, it should have no problem. But yeah, exciting updates. This yard is almost finished. It's been actually gone pretty quickly. So excited about that. I'm here at my freeze dryer, ready to get it set up for the Starburst. What I am going to do, going to customize, I am going to go to 150 degrees for my dry temp. I usually do four hours for candy mode. I'm gonna hit save and start. Someone told me in my comments that you can skip the initial freeze when doing candy mode, but I don't remember how they said to do it. So I'm gonna look into that and see if that's a tip I can share in my next video. We're gonna wait for the cool down and we are waiting for the Starburst to be done in the oven. I'm gonna keep an eye on them just so that they don't like completely melt or like cook or anything. We're just trying to get them softened before they go into the freeze dryer. While I wait for the Starburst to finish, I wanna give you Brooke's trivia corner question of the day. Today, instead of an Alaskan trivia question, I've got a freeze dried food trivia question for you, when was freeze drying invented? Guess the year and guess what the purpose of freeze drying was when it was first invented. So I guess it's a two part question. I will give you the answer at the end of the video. I wanna check up on these Starbursts. They are definitely looking melty. So I'm gonna pull them out. I don't want them completely melted. So let's give this a try and see how it goes shall we? You can see some of them melted a little more than others, but this is a fun little experiment. The freeze dryer is almost ready to load up and then we will get it going, see how these guys turn out. So now I'm just going to turn candy process to on. It'll turn green. Hit continue. I do want to warm the trays because Obviously, I want them warm for this process. So I'm gonna hit start, and I'm even gonna add a couple of minutes so that they get nice and warm again. Cause already just interacting with the air, the Starbursts are trying, kind of getting a little bit hardened again. Cause obviously the air temperature here is cooler than when we melted them in the oven. But I'm hoping the warming of the trays brings it back to the warmth again for optimal freeze drying. I am anxious to see if these turn out puffier than the Starburst I've done in the past. So I will be coming back to you guys in four hours and showing you how these turned out. Stick around because I am also gonna take you guys on a little trip that we did with the kids a few days ago. We went out four-wheeling in our side-by-side -side at Eklutna Lake and it is just some beautiful, gorgeous Alaskan scenery and was a great time. I've got a few video clips to share and so stay tuned for that. I will catch you guys in a few. See you later. The freeze dryer is finished and I cannot wait to show you guys these. They turned out so good. They totally puffed up definitely more than the last time that I did Starburst when I did them just on their own. Let's pull these out and see how they look. These are so much fun. Can you see the little bubbles that they create from the freeze dryer? Next up in the candy process is bagging up the candy. So let's get these in my Mylar candy bags and then I have to do a taste test, of course. I decided to put 18 Starbursts inside of each bag. I felt like that filled the bag very well. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight bags of Starburst. So that's not too bad considering I only used half of the jar of Starburst. These are my extras that we are going to taste test with today. The only thing I have left to do for the candy is to heat seal it at the sealer right here. You just set it on, give it a little zap and it's heat sealed. And you know what? I also 
put on a little sticker. And now she is all ready for a DIY freeze dry candy customer. <laughs> This is so fun. If you make Starburst or any kind of candy, let me know and let me know what's your favorite. These are so fun. You guys, my kids aren't home to do a taste test and I am not gonna wait for them. I gotta give it a test. What's your favorite color Starburst? Let me know in the comments. I feel like most people like pink and red. That usually is my favorite, but I have become a lover of the yellow Starburst. So that's what we're gonna try. So good. I'm sure you can hear the crunch. Here's how the inside looks. These are fun to, you can chew them and they're just like crunchy and then kind of dissolve as you eat it. Or they're really fun to just like suck on like a hard candy because as they get moisture into them again, they kind of like start to melt in your mouth. These are so good. And in place of our taste test in a beautiful Alaskan location like we usually try to do, I'm gonna send you guys off to our footage of our side-by-side -side trip to Eklutna Lake. And I will meet you all right back here for the answer to today's trivia question after our adventure. We are out today on a little side-by-side -side adventure at Eklutna Lake. Kiddos, say hi. a fun, amazing little ride. We made it back. Did you guys have fun? Yeah. Until next time. Bye. I hope you enjoyed some of that footage from that little day trip that we took. It was super fun. Let's answer Brooke's trivia corner question. If you remember, when was freeze drying first invented and what was the purpose? Here's the answer. According to trusty old Google, freeze drying was invented by Jacques Arsene de Senval, something like that, um, at the College de France in Paris in 1906. That is almost 100 years ago. Wait, more than 100 years ago. 117 years ago. <laughs> and the purpose was to preserve blood serum. I don't quite know what the blood serum is that they were preserving, but they were preserving blood serum in 1906. During the 1950s is when they started freeze drying food and they did that mostly during World War II. That's when freeze drying food kind of became a thing. I thought that was super interesting. Here we are now in 2023, everyone can freeze dry food in their own home, which is so amazing. I love technology. I'm so glad to have this thing. It's awesome. If you don't have a freeze dryer and you are interested in purchasing one, I have an affiliate link with Harvest Right down in the description below. They recently came out with an updated, upgraded version of the freeze dryer. So now is a great time to purchase if you are wanting to pull the plug and get started on freeze drying. You won't regret it. It's awesome. I love it. If you can't tell, 
why I make all these videos because I just think it's the best. So hit that link if you want to shop for freeze dryers. It's all there. Also, the products that I use that I um, buy on Amazon, I will have linked in the video description also, like my candy bags that I use and the silicone um, tray liners. Those are from Amazon, super cheap, easy. I will have those linked for you below. I think that wraps up today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all the support here on my channel. Leave any questions that you have in the comments down below. Hit that subscribe button if you are not already subscribing. And I will catch you guys on the next freeze drying adventure. Bye.